guys, what's going on? Garen here again with Mr. Rockoff Johnson. We're here at Chacho, as you see, nice and crazy and everything, getting the day started. So, y'all gonna come with us, we're gonna explore everything, show y'all what we're gonna see, and talk to a lot of damn people. I'm excited, I know he's excited. We're gonna have a damn good day, or a damn good week. Let's get it going. What's the game plan for the day? Just, for the day, just going through and talking to people? Or? Going through, talking to people, see what we can see, new products. And today and tomorrow is all about networking and just making it do what it do. Let everybody, the people that don't know me, we want to let them, they gonna learn who the hell we are. You know what I mean? And I'm not saying that to be cocky, but you know, you gotta establish who you are to let people know why they should rock with you. And that's my plan. Oh yeah, that's crazy. So, yeah. but we do have some other firearms that are actually green gas. <laughs> oh my gosh, there's so much here. Yeah. What you do not see in this video, will be in another one. it will probably be in another one. So make sure if you're not subscribed, you go ahead and subscribe for all the videos that we're uploading. And then of course, after Shot Show, if you're watching this, Make sure you go out and check out some of the other videos. We are uploading every single day that we are here. This is more of the stop the bleed stuff that I need. Rescue Essentials, something you definitely... Yeah, so uh, try to forensics. Yeah. 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 How are you? Good, he's got the camera. On. So let's, we're going to pack yeah. the wound. So. I love him. Yep, stop, stop the bleed training. That's it. Where are you guys out of? Baltimore, Maryland. Oh, yeah. man, super important, right? Yeah, I'm going to uh, stop the bleed and start the CPR. Oh, everything. I'm a paramedic by training. You're going you're gonna to appreciate this. So let's talk about the blood first. Yeah. Our blood was created for the U.S. military to teach combat medics how their combat goes work. So you guys are familiar with Quick Lot, I'm sure. Yep. Mm -hmm. So when a combat medic packs a wound on a battlefield, he doesn't get to see what that does because he obviously doesn't pull it out. Pull out. Yeah. Trauma dots. Yeah. So now our blood looks like blood. It has the viscosity of blood, so it's nice and slippery like real blood. Yeah. And it clots like real blood. Oh, so, nice. And then it cleans up the soap and water. So if you get it on your clothes or whatnot, you just wash, wash it and it's wash good. Wash it, yep. Nice. Um, if you get it on your hands, you're not running gloves, you just wash, wash it, it off. It washes right off. So, all right, so you're stopped the lead instructor. I'm going to be testing now. Yep. Okay, finger in the hole. Get a finger in the moon there. It's going to displace, so just. Yep. There you go. Okay, now palpate around there. You know, you're feeling for the bleed inside there. What are you feeling there? Oh, with yeah. That, with that finger. Move yeah. That. Yeah, what's that? That's the bone. Yeah. yeah. That's, that's, that's the bone. bone. Yeah. You can really feel the bone. Yeah. That's crazy. So now keep that finger in there. Because now you're holding pressure because yep. you're on the bleed. You're yep. stopping right now. What happens if you take your finger off? It's going to start bleeding. There you go. It's so going to bleed out. And there's your gauze right there. So a little bit out of time. Just feed it in there. Pack and fill that cavitation up. Nice work. I'm squeezing. You got pressure on there. Now it's just a matter of filling that hole for it. And I like your technique. You're wrapping it around your finger. You know why that's important? Because that bone is partially shard just to kind of Yep. It's that teaching point of you can't cut your fingers when you're when you're doing that. So now you're protecting your fingers, you're pushing that in. Yep. What but you, you need to know how to deal with it because you saving your family or your loved one's life. You can't be gross out and ready to throw up. You gotta be in action. That's why I love being an instructor for it. Still want to keep pressure on it. But yeah, keep pressure with combat goals. Quick yep, clock, three minutes, and then you're going to do a pressure, pressure wrap drop. around that. Yep. So now let's check your work. Slowly pull that out. You'll see that the bandage is going to be lighter because that's just soaking up the residual blood because you had stopped the bleeding. Yeah. And as you get deeper in, it's going to start to get darker, and you're going to start seeing clots on the bandage. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, it gets better. Oh, wow. Where'd you get to the point of wounding? There's, there's, the, there's the clot. Wow. I don't care if YouTube likes it or not. We're not blurring that out. <laughs> yep, there we go. That's oh, that's actually yeah. insane. And you're a paramedic, yeah. so you can really, really appreciate what that does. That really is like clotted blood, too. Yep. You feel it. Yes. So I want to talk about something else. I do a lot of work with folks doing, doing in the inner cities and stuff like that. And that's where we're at. Yeah. Yep. So 
Does bleeding present differently on this? It looks different. It's hard to identify, yeah. right? But now we could do that. We could show folks. It doesn't matter what color we are. We all bleed red. It's just it might present differently. It might be harder to find. So we do all our task trainers. We do a light tone. We do a dark tone. And we're just getting great feedback from, from the inner cities, man. They love it. I love it. Just you gotta stabilize it and make sure it's not This back catalog right there. That's has crazy. Oh, yes. I love it. Wow. Good, how are you? Oh, sure. Thank you. Oh. Oh. Good, how about you? That's good. the headrest safe yeah, all right I looked at them online. oh did you okay yeah. yeah it is a way for you to pull things hidden in plain sight okay because <laughs> take a look right here here's your headrest okay this is the companion we sell it as a pair this goes on the driver's side this goes on the passenger side, so that if anyone were to look in your vehicle facing look exactly it, the same. everything looks the same. But what they don't know is that you as a driver have the ability to come over here, flip it down, down with your thumb. I didn't have to lock on it, so I will put back on now. There we go. Okay, so now, cut, take two. <laughs> All right, so now I'm gonna flip it open. I'm gonna get the biometrics in there. I'm gonna open it up and boom. My gun. There's your gun, or I know a nice successful man like you has nice, a lot, lots of bling in a big wad. So you put your bling in there, you put your thing in there, you put your cell phone in there, and guess what? Now you can go up up on the beach with your girlfriend and not worry about all the stuff. Where's she going to put it? Under the seat in the car. All this for $4.89. It could be in your house tonight. <laughs> That's actually cool. Now, that would actually be cool. This, this version, okay? Yeah. This version was from a request. And the request came from veterinarians. They, they said, we take ketamine with us. Yeah. We're out in farms in very yeah. distant places. So, not only do they have everything locked in their vehicle, but at the end of the night, they can take the whole thing out. Oh, wow. That is dope. Now you put it in your hotel room, you put it in your house, you put it where you want. Okay. So now it's a portable safe. And you know, certain states, New Jersey, you can't carry your gun from your house to your car without it being in a locked vessel. So literally, this started out as being designed for the medical industry so they could swap them out, the hospice nurses, the veterinarians, uh, anyone really who has to carry something if they want to keep safe. These are actually the belts that Garen wears when he does his duty work and everything. Well, even more than his duty, also when he's not reviewing 
some other belt or anything like that. We're on the second floor now, and it has opened up. Come to Caltech, Browning, Winchester, Lipsy's, yep. a lot. IWI, IWA, excuse me. Yep. Look who made it up. What's going on, Pimpin? <laughs> you ain't telling me you was making it. Oh, yeah, last minute. Many. <laughs> still working, man. So Hello. Morning. 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 Well, oh, how are you doing? Good, thanks. How about you? I gotta say. Doing good. Nice stop at Double Fit. Yeah. <laughs> Well, that's oh, that's Excuse me, buddy. Can I slide by you real quick? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. The carry is insane. Hold on, hold on. I'm about to say, I know you want to see the double stack. That's the double stack. Um, 1911. Oh, that they just came out with. Oh yeah. Oh, that. threaded barrel was that five inch? Yeah, we had Look at these prices. Cheap. Oh my gosh, the carry is only three hundred sixty-nine bucks. That is insane. To the shop, and they're like, "What do you think about it?" He carries it. If I'm not carrying my nineteen eleven, I carry it. Nice. Like, then we have the video playing on constant loop in the uh, shop. I'm like, we literally went through 5,000 miles for the whole loop was not. Or an accident. Like, nah, it was like 7,000. Yeah, that was like, 7,000 so, worth. <laughs> oh my gosh, the thesis carry is crazy. <laughs> semi-automatic we actually sell both of these in the shop uh, of course we sell a bunch of thesis products but so we're definitely gonna come back through but there's HK Smith and Wesson Leopold Savage Trigicon Mossberg. Oh my god, I can't wait to see Mossberg. Hollison, Staccato, Beretta. There's a lot in this lane. Of course, Glock. FN. Under Armour. That's actually that's actually more down home for us. Under Armour facilities based out of uh, Baltimore. It is hectic. Being in this show, it's so much to see, so much to do. Um, we were on the first floor. We are on the second now. That's where when we first started seeing Tesis and everything, all the job, all the blocks. By the way, of course, Garen's right here. Um, I hope you guys don't mind my commentary, my commentary, while we're walking through and everything. I. I don't get over. That's <laughs> true. I promise after shot show you probably won't hear my voice again. <laughs> oh, horny. Hornity. Excuse me. Sentry arms with the mechanic over there. Look at that. Classic firearms. Oh my god. Gurn. Yo, that's turn tactical, man. That's dope as hell. Yeah, turns always here. Okay, I gotta get a picture with my man at some point. Bro. What? Yeah. So um, you can it. Yo. Try the trigger on that thing. <laughs> Crazy. Why would you do that to me? <laughs> it ain't no $6,000 situation. Now you have to get it. <laughs> Definitely gotta get it. <laughs> I had a gun shot there. Show him your own. Let me see carry our stuff too. Yeah. Cause they got the gunshot now, and then still doing the training and everything. So very cool. That is sick. That I love pearl and everything. I, oh this? yeah. Okay, that is insane, and, and I miss them. But also had the one guy from uh, Classic Firearms. So they gave one of those away last year. What the gold AK? Yep. That is crazy. Give away. 
I, I mean, I know this is your second time here. This is my first. Are you still nerding out as yes. much as you did? Okay. <laughs> I figured. Yes. <laughs> oh, that's what I was looking for. That's how I know the bridge. Dude, look at this rig. What? Oh my gosh. That's crazy. And of course, we are here at the Walter booth. Yeah, I'm probably 60 pounds since the last time you saw me. Oh, welcome. I gotta come do some more classes. Yes, sir. Come on out, man. Come on out. Why we were at the range? I had all those, all of them. Okay. We weren't recording. Oh. Oh no, I have some. No, I actually have a lot of those videos. I know, but I like he laughs because I'm like, no, I'm getting this damn black belt. There it is. I'm getting it. Because now we did a. Everybody's like, oh, where's your bird? Yeah. This is who you go to. <laughs> I'm like, I'm not going to, like you said, not teach it and I can't do it. Yep. There you go, man. What class are you at? Uh, first time, first time, first time. Yep. Yeah. 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 Say you love Walters. I want my PDP. I want still frame. PDP. So you will get the still frame match. Probably not. They have a compact. That's a compact. No, I want this one. Which one is that? Oh, just the full size. Hey, it's Vincent Walter 2024 uh, Shot Show. Got a few new offerings over the past six months. <laughs> this one we just dropped is the. It's called the PDP Professional Acro. It's a law enforcement exclusive, so only after law enforcement, 999 bucks. You're talking about direct mill slide for the acro, comes with the acro, has the tritium sights already installed, the dynamic performance trigger, magwell, and uh, three magazines. So just a good value, kind of appreciation for law enforcement. Damn, that feels good full-size frame on there too so that feels so good then but we did uh, the two matches which the steel frame you can tell the matches will have the lightning cuts on the slide yeah. and both the the uh, the match guns are the full-size frame again and uh, these will be five inch and again we got the polymer version we will have dynamic performance trigger magwell and three mags come with those things so moving down the line, just dropped these two as well. Two more steel frames to kind of start the, the evolution from the Q series to the PDP steel frame. And that'll be full size, four and a half, compact uh, frame with a four inch. So that's kind of what we got new over the past six months here. Those are definitely the two I really, because I think those two would fit best for the private detectives and carry the security, one, yeah. but especially the carry wise, like yeah. our appendix carry everything, so either yep. one of those. So, no and then, not to, yeah. 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 And then the 380, I'm yep. looking forward to that one. PD 380, we have some, so, uh, it's basically an updated PK 380. Um, more aggressive grip texture, went from eight rounds to nine rounds, European style mag release. Um, extremely easy to, to rack slide. Um, kind of an older, the older design like the PPK, PPKS, where the magazine is what actuates the slide stop. So if you put a fresh mag in to rack it and it would close, or you just close it by hand. Um, double action, single action. We'll have another, uh, an extension kind of of the line for this coming up as well with some add-ons, I guess you could say. But that is awesome. Yeah. I Y'all know I love my PDPs. I've seen enough videos. Soon to, uh, yeah, definitely. Soon to, yeah. Hopefully, yeah, we want, we can definitely make that work. Yeah, I think YouTube. Yeah, I've seen enough of my videos with my PDP. Still more to come. I don't care. <laughs> right. <laughs> so let me find. It's called the TLR Seven X. TLR Seven X. You can help me look if you. Right here. Oh, there you go. So now. Well, let me show you this one, because that one, whenever you see an X after our product, that yeah. means it will accept a rechargeable battery. 
Oh. Okay. That doesn't mean the battery, the one in here is just the CR123. Oh. Yeah. This is the XUSB, which has the SLB9 battery in it. Okay. That is rechargeable, and you take the battery out of the light to charge it. That's totally, hey, that's totally fine by me. Yeah. Yep. For safety reasons. Oh, yeah, of course. Yeah. Oh. oh yeah, yeah that's they, actually really they nice. Doubled, I believe it was. That's crazy. Maximum defense. This Smith and Wesson booth is huge. So it's see Magnum. We sold that in the store. Of course, the response. The FPC. We've had that in the store. So guys, this is the Smith & Wesson 1854 lever action. This thing is feeling amazing. That smooth, that shit is just, that's just smooth. That trigger, that trigger, you see the flat face trigger on there. I'm, I, I don't know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna say two pounds, maybe three, if that. With the, with the rail. capabilities. Yeah. Is that a floating barrel? No. No, not a floating barrel. I thought, I, no, but it just looked like it. It looked like it, yeah. I had to look at it too, so hey, I'm not mad at it. But this grip, this texture, y'all know I like rough grips, but it gives you that, you know you got it grip without being super rough like I be wanting my guns. But this thing just feels amazing. This thing feels great. This is the tactical version, I believe. Yeah. Remove, oh, yeah. 19 to 25 inch and a 9 plus 1 capacity. Oh man, that's crazy. And a 44 Magnum too. Yeah. And then this one is 44 Mag too. With the nice polish. It's, I love the look of it, but. How about to say, I like me. that one a little I bit like better. I like the tactical side. Flat face triggers, as you can see, Smith and Wesson is loving the flat face triggers. Yeah, that damn sure look like a two pound three. Yeah, that, nah, straight up, that's two and a half. <laughs> like two and a half, three pounds. I like that. <laughs> this is something I am very much used to because I absolutely love yeah, these. But to be honest with you, if I'm gonna be honest. I don't necessarily need a backpack gun personally. I have one. So I wouldn't go for this one. I would actually go for the response. I like my backpack gun, but my backpack gun is also. Oh, I can't pull the ball. Yup, they got it locked. Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. Flat face trigger. I know that's about a two and a half three pound, but. And that's six millimeter art? Yep. Oh yeah. It sits right there just. Oh yeah. That's kind of crazy. Oh my gosh. The MMP12. Look at that. It's got two tubes. You can switch the sides. Yep. This thing is just so nice. MMP12 gauge. This damn thing. 12, uh, 19 inch barrel. Hold six plus one. And it's just smooth. This thing is just smooth. So that means it will hold 12 because it's got two barrels? Two, yep. Wow. Wow. And it just, it sits there like, this actually Compared ain't my first time holding it. But to me, especially being, I like my kel my KS7, this feels better. This I was feels wondering way that. better. But the only issue Rack is I'm trying to get, get one to uh, shoot it. And that is nice. so much easier to just yeah. 
This button, the button is actually way easier than the Kel-Tec. Yeah, I know. When I was holding it, I could feel it. I'm gonna have to figure out getting one of these so I can test it and review it for you guys. All right, so Beretta is actually the brand that I can't wait to see because I love the A300 Patrol in the 1301. APX A1. Uh, I love to see it. Here's a fun fact, guys. I've been trying to low-key get him to get these in the shop. It's still up to him if he wants to do it. We do. I've been looking at getting them. Yeah. I've been looking at getting them. We do get a lot of transfers, um, and he just hasn't shot one yet. So if you're watching this video, and if you haven't shot one, um, or if you're from Beretta and you see this, please get him to shoot one because he doesn't carry anything in the shop that he hasn't shot first. <laughs> yeah. And that's the biggest thing. Like, yeah. I can see why people like it and why they would want to carry it. So, yeah, I definitely would be open to testing one out and see about carrying Then they have the tactical model. Now, okay, this is, yeah. That's okay, up your alley. That's my, because if you guys haven't realized, I don't carry anything small. This is up my alley. Yeah. This is definitely up my alley. Okay, yep. All right. So here we have the 1301s and the A300 patrols. Sick. So that is the 1301 right there. Now you get it. Now you get why I ran and rave about it so much, don't you? I can tell from the smile. I like it. Yeah. <laughs> but I want the one with silence. Oh, I, they have one over there with one. I just picked up that one. I don't know why, but we're getting one before the summer. I need a shotgun with the suppressor one. Absolutely. Just pop yeah. you up. Shout out. What you yeah. What's the uh, G Tactics protection? protection. G Tactics and protection. Oh, mm -hmm. man, I love it. Yeah. yeah. Right. Yeah, because we I own a gun shop in Baltimore, okay. and I'm also an instructor. That's that awesome. That's awesome, dude. I teach PI, Way security, yeah. civilians, everything. G Tactics and Protection. Yep, and that's the name of the uh, channel, just G Tactics Protection. Oh, you yep. did? Yeah. That is awesome. Doing dude. reviews and everything. It's been good work. They're I think it's the best way to get people like into the Second Amendment. It's by yeah. teaching them like that and like really yeah. hands-on, mm -hmm. getting them to learn more about the firearm. Exactly. Yeah. So like we do everything from the basic pistol courses to red dot to tactical shooting and everything. Okay. Oh, that background not too different from yours. <laughs> I carry, I actually carry this one here. That's this is one of my carries. I love that. The G3 XL is very interesting. I'm not a huge fan of it, but still fine. Oh wow, 940 Pro. We sold that in the shop. Yeah. Patriot. Here we go. These are the models I'm looking at. We do have those available in our gun store as well. Yep. Shockwave. I know, I know. Someone from Mossberg. Special grade. Yep. We have those in the shop. I love to see it. Never seen it? You ever shot one? Not with the mag. It's a lot of fun. It's a lot of fun. It's a lot of fun. You know this is up my alley. Oh, I know it is. <laughs> All right, Hobbs. <laughs> twice and now I teach mm -hmm. you, we teach the red dot this course I gotta get him through the steps but I'm gonna teach the red dot class down in, up in Maryland yeah because I own a gun shop up there and everything nice. too nice but are you trying to jump to a class where you at a Baltimore same place 
I follow you on Instagram yeah. and everything. Yeah, so. man. Thank you so much. If you need bro. something, reach out. All right. I definitely appreciate it. Sure, bud. CNH Precision, aka his favorite optic that he uses on his main carry gun right now, which is the Walther PDP. So, the this, this, this is this. the new thing we are super excited for. Can this we is touch the ERD. When they come off? We can definitely see. Like I said, we'll, we'll have you, well, like, we'll be pushing some stuff out to Worth to see if you guys can get something. To really test out? Because yeah. of all the PIs and the security guards we've been training lately? Yeah. The duty one. Yep. Yeah, we can easily look at that, but this is our new one. This Ooh. is one of the other ones. Do like me a favor, look down, and then just cover the top. There's a sensor. The speed this thing adjusts is ridiculous. Just like if you just slide your finger back and forth on it. Bro. I know. <laughs> that I'm, that I'm excited instant. for that. I am not, like, I usually like playing for your so. This being our duty that you've already been talking about. So, normal acro footprint. Goes on there, one single crossbar. This one is our duty XL. As you can see, the crossbar is significantly wider, so you can get more engagement. It also, uh, sorry, the clamp bar, but also has two crossbars going underneath for even more engagement. From the plate. We are, so we're designing, we have designed new plates for it. So we already have like our, like if you have a Glock, our GL acro plate. Now we have the GL Acro XL. All the Acro plates are getting replaced with that, so it'll work with the Acro P1, Acro P2, our Duty, and the Duty XL. It'll, it'll just have an extra little gout, like since it gouge it, like an extra cut for the crossbar that'll work for this. Won't do anything with this, so you don't need to worry. About it. Okay. So that's that's the biggest thing now. This one, I run everything on my my PDP. I'm a PDP guy. Oh yeah. Like even though I have the Chicago. PDP. I have a PDP. I got my girlfriend a PDP F series. Well, I own four of them. Yeah, I have a full size, compact. No, you got more than that because you're forgetting about the Q5. Oh yeah, the Q5 series. And uh, yes. uh, the full size as well. So red, green. Oh, he's speaking my language. Hold up, I'm about to no, say. Let me, the let me see the red one. Oh my, bro. Oh, that's nice. He's That's done with nice. that one, the XL one, out here in the next few months. Oh my god, having a green one works so great. Green and the multi reticle red are already in stock. They're on the website. Good. The one thing I will tell you that I'm in love with, yeah. red and green, no price difference. No price difference from red and green? I need the green one because I'm not as bad as he is with the red. But like the red shows up as, I just know it's a great dot. So I know I'm on target. Yeah. I prefer green. Yes. But multi reticle can I have this one? <laughs> yep. Top green. That's, That's green. the green one? That's oh, okay. <laughs> oh, I can't wait to see it. <laughs> let me see, let me see real quick. Oh, my fault. I didn't realize you were still getting your sight picture. Because it just drops right there. Oh, yeah. For the people out there in YouTube land, I'm actually colorblind in one eye, so I can't run like red optics. What's it turn into? Now, cool. I don't know if you guys have seen the other fun filled things we're doing. These are our direct mount optics. Big Romeo 1 Pro footprint, MNP 2.0, MOS, HK VP9, Walther PDP 2.0. You don't need a plate. Direct mounts onto it. Taurus G3C and we have the CC uh, D10. But this will direct mount onto the Walther PDP 2.0. Actually, it's hard for you guys to see, two, but two the radical ones. is changing. Yo, bro, that's Jerry Michelet right there. All right, we got to go meet up with meet up with him at the Fioki booth. That is cool, though. Jesus. Fioki? Yeah, I saw Fioki. Yeah, I think it's... I don't know where it is. This place is so crazy. See you in a little bit, buddy. Yo, that's fucking <laughs> Jerry Michelin, man. Oh my god. <laughs> All right, definitely fangirl for a second, but it is what it is. Oh, I'll wear shit out of these. Oh also. yeah, that's comfy. <laughs> that's, that's nice. That's like the best gym. Bar short. I was gonna sit, I would wear the shit out of this. Constantly. Super confident. As soon as you said blue, I'm like, I gotta show 
Alright, guess what I'm ordering for some. Those? Yeah. These should be available end of next month. My, Say less. My tactical jeans I wear are Victor's. I know. So. <laughs> yeah, 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 there y'all go. Gun shop going on. Okay. Still doing all the classes and everything. Yeah. yeah. Making it work. Build it, man. Build it. Oh, yeah. Sure. You ready for me? Yeah, I'm ready out for you. Out to your Black Round Bowl, man. Shout out to your 2024, man. Just chilling here in the room with on deck. I'm just sliding a little key today, you know what I'm saying? I'm quiet today. I ain't gonna make no noise, you know what I'm saying? But I'm gonna make a little noise here. Yeah, what I mean? That's it, you know what I'm saying? That's it, though. God bless y'all, man. Yeah. Yeah. A little, bit about, a little bit about your background. How did you get into the firearms? So, my background is actually I started out as an EMT in the And then from there, to so you just got done that interview yeah how was it first of all who was that because i know i didn't tell them so that interview was with sacramento observer one of their reporters that's actually trying to get the real gist and the real behind the scenes of gun violence how everybody always says gun violence is just in the black community and the young kids community and everything so we had a nice discussion about all of that and like where the actual breakdown from a lot of the stuff comes from. So that was good to get that out there and see where the interview goes. He's supposed to post it and everything. So it was cool. It was a nice interview. I like his questions. I like where he try he was trying to lead me, but you no, know, you're gonna get the true answers from me and the person that works and deals with the statistics of it, not just what I've heard and what I think. So it was a good interview. I liked it. There you go. Oh everybody. Wow. The bird. Big old bird 50. Jesus, man, that is crazy. Say it again. I said, this is the one I want. If I had the money, I would just buy this one. Maryland compliant. 10 round bag. <laughs> Actually, is on the Maryland roster. I know. I was looking. Oh, yeah. Simple for the win. That's cool. I think that's made a difference. Yeah, I mean, people really enjoyed that. So I think part of it is. Oh, you like the AKs. I'm over here for these. I'm not looking at them. Oh, I didn't even see that. I think the other big thing is Yeah, that AP5 is crazy. I don't give a damn about yeah, sure no Damn, man. I want one in 9mm. If they made one. I have no clue if they do. We've got Oracle and we've got Laugo back to back here. So they're oh. partner companies. Oh, Oracle. okay. So Laugo is from the Czech Republic, from overseas, yeah. obviously. Oracle is the USA distributor of Laugo. So they're partners. Um, the co founder of Oracle Arms is the president of Laugo Arms USA. Oh, oh wow, nice. so, okay. What? I can uh, connect you here. Sure. That's right. Like the compact pro you know, with the you know, ported oh, yeah, slides. Yeah, the ported slides and everything. That's it does have a ported insane. barrel on there, but it's oh, got that you? cut slides. Oh, that is yeah, crazy. Yep. Yeah, exactly. Do, do yep. me a favor, Grant. Can you refresh that back for me? Compact pro. Hold it, hold it back. Oh yeah, that's okay, sick. Let's get the string out of the way for you. Oh, that's sick. Yeah, that's as far as it goes, but no, you're fine. Yeah, that's sick. Oh, them has got the gas pedal. You know it. They that's all nice have. Nice with the gas pedal. Every one of them. Oh, I like that. Every one of them. Some of the great features about it is obviously on the compact you've got this smaller mag well yeah. but if you like the features of the larger like the, the larger safety where you can it acts as that second gas pedal for your thumb back here yeah. you can get the full size but then get the plus kit which the plus kit you can see that's the compact pro with the plus kit that's brand new as of shot show everything will be now in a minute you can take a look at it but what, it, what the plus kit is is you can get it for a compact or for any other model it marks it's the larger magwell, yeah. which is easily swappable. Take that out and just put it on. But it, the plus kit also comes with three 17-round magazines. I like it. Yeah. 
So that that Compact Pro with plus kit is it's essentially this firearm. The Compact Pro. It's got the cut slides with the ported barrel. It comes with that plus kit, though. So you've got it comes with the five seventeen round mag. Base base models come. With oh, that's sick. so. There's the Compact Pro. You can see, but it's got that threaded barrel in there. Oh. Oh my god. It just calls home. <laughs> it feels great in the hand. Oh, that is crazy, yeah. This is my personal pistol that I sent to a friend. Uh, so he owns Pro 2 Customs. I sent it to him and I said, listen, it's a 2311. It, I'd like to pay homage to like those high end 1911s that yeah. people get engraved. Other than that, like, you know, kind of kind of give it some of that old school 1911 vibes. Make it crazy. Make people look at it and be like, what the hell have you done to this thing? Nah, man? I love that, so, man. So I love it. Man, I, I gave him full sort of artistic uh, license to do whatever he wanted. And he, and he and sent back he this, delivered. He yeah. delivered. Yeah. He delivered. Yeah. He delivered. Yeah. Masterpiece. Yeah. Every, compact or full size? Why choose? You seem to like the full compact. size. Go full oh. size. Go okay, full, full size. size. Full size. Full size. I like the combat, but he knows I'm always the full size guy. There you go. Feels good. Feels good as I understand it. <laughs> oh my god. Boy! You know. I just want to touch the Y'all think I'm dangerous with my thing. That one's got about a four pound trigger in it. Some Sick. Of them, some of them have about a three and a half to four pound. Garen's about to make a video for Oracle Arms really fast. Uh, they wanted to get him with, because of his background, they want to get him uh, talking about their guns and everything. Hey guys, Garen here with g Tactics Protection. Uh, over here at the Oracle Arms 2311 here at SHOT Show. And let me just tell you this gun feels amazing. I'm sitting here as an instructor that teaches civilian, law enforcement, PI, everybody. This gun is so hard. It feels great in the hand, the stiff gun and everything with the bad gun. It just suits your hand perfectly, which will come in great handy with a lot of people. It's nice and large. It's just nice and gives you a second gas pedal while you get that good grip and you have your grip in there. That's another gas pedal from your old arm. Along with still having the gas pedal on the back right there. That trigger is nice. That trigger is nice. And then the reset on it, right there. Right back. Everybody always wants to know how good a reset is. This is up there. This is definitely one of the best resets I've felt on even a hammer fired gun. Let's take an arrow. I think I can. <laughs> Hold on. What? Look at. In the guitar case? In the guitar case, and the whole guitar guitar case is magnetized. That is crazy. That is insane. Underwood. These are junk. Huh. We know about these Underwoods. Oh, the years we've been turning the ammunition. I was skeptical of some of it, and then when I got involved with actually testing some of it, I was like, oh, yeah. nope, this is my carry now. Okay, look at this. Samurai, well, the Oni Mask, the Rising Sun, and then you have the slide serra the serrations and the cuts. Then you come over to the other side, and it's the opposite with a Samurai. That is so sick. That is so sick. There are so many firearms over here and so many cool colors and configurations. We've actually sold one of these in our shop before. The Donald Trump 45th President Protect, uh, Preserve, Defend. I've seen one of these before. No, I haven't actually, that's crazy. Garen. Take a look at that, man. Oh yeah, that's the second version of it. Never surrender, that's funny. 
Sugar Skull. Oh my gosh, with a compensator? Woo! Oh yeah. I know you like that. Yeah, buddy. My grandfather. My grandfather literally had one of these. Yo, that design on it. My grandfather literally had one of these, man. Of course, not engraved. This is gorgeous, but oh my gosh. This just took me back. You need to find food so I can sit down. So, all your normal stuff is in the regular bag. Yeah, it's in a regular bag. But then for the women, that's it. And your firearm is right there. There's the holster. Yep, see? Oh, that's actually sick. Who is this? There we go. That's actually pretty sick. Oh, yeah. That rig is crazy. I like it. And this is the sage. Looks smooth. That's the 320 grip modules. It's a damn shame, I know that just from Here we have EAA and Coast St. Arms. How are thou? How are thou? You guys should have seen them in the video that we had. Hello, did you see that the video is live already? No. Yeah, already, already up there on YouTube. That's crazy. But Coast St. Arms, we have not. Let me know if there's anything you want me to pull out. I definitely will. Oh, we know we shot this one. Uh, that one, that's actually one of my favorites that we shot. Uh, then of course the 10 mil, that's the carry. And what was the other one over here? Uh, the five inch nine millimeter, yep. That one was my favorite that we shot. Yeah, I love that. Oh my God, that one was my favorite. Oh, y'all changed a little bit since the last time we saw it. This wasn't on there before. Of course, as you guys see, the Cosaint Arms. As we come down here, see some of their other models. There's another baby. Yep, the 10 mil. Yep. Do you want to see it? We have videos all on the channel. I want this one. For you guys to see. Actually, no. At the time of us uploading this, that video is not live yet. But. Just get ready for it because we actually went to Cosaint. We visited their True. facility and everything like that. That will be coming live. Th this is we my ultimate one. favorite one. Yep. Nine mil there, the ten there, and a couple of other ones that we were able to oh, shoot. Oh, oh, oh. So we've done we've done three. Okay, so that we that saw. One. That's the one we had with that's us. That's a forty-five. That's a forty-five, right? No. Yep. Where's 40. the the Gerson twenty-three? Excuse me. That's. Oh, so you painted it. Well, we have three now. So we have the oh, okay. ba basic model, and we have this one, and then we have a third one with an Atlas trigger. Um, so kind of uh, $500 upgrade, yep. $800, and then $1,200. Nice. That's, I think that was the one we had. Uh, okay. I think that was the one yeah. we had took with us. The Gerson Witness 2311. Yeah, so that we've, you know, just upgraded a little bit. The, uh, the I love it. Cross cut on it. Sentry Arms and Panic. We do have a couple of things in the shop from Sentry Arms, but the one thing we cannot keep in there are Canics because they just fly off the shelves so fast. But I mean, what do you expect? How have you been okay, thanks for that. How's the show interest been on that one? I mean, just look at this. Yo, this is a tactical panic. That's the one he was just showing us, right? Yeah, this is the one he was showing us when we were over here earlier. Alright, so now we get to get a little bit more time with it. 20 18, rounder. Yep, 20. It's, it's tearing. We definitely extended base plate. I like the texture. Uh, slide stop, slide release. That built-in comp, that comp. With the? With the fluted barrel. Yeah. That is nice. Combat sights, high-vis green. 
That thing just drops right in the, oh my God, that thing just drops right there. Yeah. All right, guys, hey. End of SHOT Show day two, still a great day, been awesome. Met up with a couple of people, Scott Jelinski, got talked to him, got a couple pictures with him. Uh, Ryan, Aaron from T uh, Tier One Concealment, uh, Hunter Freeland, we met up with him, talked to him and everything, Jerry Mechelak. We had a great day, got to talk to some great people, chill out and everything. So we got a lot more, we barely even hit a third of the place. But we will get back to you and make another video tomorrow. All right. Appreciate y'all. Uh, like, share, subscribe. Y'all got any questions or anything, hit us up. Take it easy.